What's going on, everybody? James Jackson back again with another how-to tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about something that probably all of us have done. We've done, we've been skinning, but based on some of the lighting, it is some of the lighting we maybe have, but we get this sort of discoloration where, as you'll see here, we get some reds, we get some yellows. There's a lot of mixture of colors in the skin, and the skin is probably the most important thing when we come and when we're doing videos. Uh, we're going to be showing how we can sort of clean this up and make it a lot smoother and a lot more pleasing. But we're going to, with one feature in Resolve that I absolutely love, and you can do this in two easy steps. By the way, uh, in case you all aren't aware, this clip is also a clip that, I, that is, can be seen on ArtGrid. And for those of you that don't know, ArtGrid is probably my favorite uh, website to get stock footage. It's great to because they give you log footage, 4K footage, raw footage. You can, of all quality, high quality, they're very high standard. And you get a lifetime setting with these footages, meaning if you were to quit, unsubscribe from ArtGrid, they're yours, they're yours forever. Unlike some websites that once you unsubscribe, basically you can't use them anymore, but you can use them forever. And also you can become a filmmaker on ArtGrid as well, where you can have your own stock footages being put up on the website and where you can make a little bit of cash on your own. So if this is something that you're interested in, definitely think about signing up. I got, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested. But let's get back to this, and let's just go ahead and dive right on into it. Uh, so we've al I've already transformed this into Rec. 709 for you guys, so there's no need to worry about that. Uh, so really, there's only like I said, it's only two steps. The first step is we're going to need to qualify the skin. So we're going to come over here to our qualifier. Uh, we're going to take the qualifier, and we are going to just qualify the skin real quick. And we'll see here, we got a little bit more, so let's close this whip. And let's try to see where we can get this center up. Let's see if we can close it a little bit more. But uh, remember, we're trying to get uh, as much of the skin as possible, which I think that's right there. Let's see if we can close this up. All right, so now let's sort of take some of those lower saturations out, and then we'll soften those back in. Let's bring this down. Let's actually pull this back down on this a little bit more. And then let's uh, go to the luminance value. So let's see if we can pull some of this back. And then we'll soften the and then we'll soften the lows out just to make sure we get the uh, get this bottom part. Uh, so we may let's see if we want to center this. And then Let's actually pull this low back down a little bit more. Let's pull it back down because so we can make sure we get this. And I'll pull this back down a little bit. Uh, actually, we'll pull this back up and then we'll soften it. And then we'll just soften this out. Uh, like I said, this is just a this is just a uh, a dirty. This is just a, you know, a quick, dirty tutorial we wanted to just show you guys. And then I'm going to like clean the whites up a little bit, and I'm going to clean the blacks up. And then I'm also going to just denoise it, just sort of uh, smooth things out a bit. So now we got our skin. Now comes step two, which is basically taking color compressor. And this is an amazing tool, and you'll see in just a second. And what we're going to, uh, let me take the qualifier off. What we're going to try to do is sort of get, sort of bring it a little bit more into the neutral. So what we're going to do is get uh, this cheek where it'll just be a little bit more warmer. So we're going to take this qualifier, and we're going to take this, and we're going to put it here. And now you'll see here if, if we look at the vector scope, everything's sort of kind of spread out. But watch what happens when we compress the hue. It's, 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 I don't know if you guys saw it. Let me undo this. As you can see, it went from big, and now we'll do, pull it back. And now it's gotten smaller. And as you can see, this has cleaned up this whole area so much. And so, here's before after before after 
Everything is now sort of brought, been neutralized and brought down together very quick. And very, like I said, very quick, very simple, easy, 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 easy. Uh, hopefully this was something helpful for you guys and this was something that you would love to more see with doing DaVinci Resolve. I absolutely love color compressor, whether if it's when I'm dealing with skin or if I'm trying to get a specific color for um, objects or something in the scene, this is a great help. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this, make sure to leave a like and make sure to leave comments below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.